my role as a GMB learning organiser is, is to engage with not only the learners but other unions, um, the organisation and the providers. We started in 2004, quite early in 2004, and within a short space of time we even had a, a learning agreement on the table and actually agreed, which is very, very unusual. But when we actually put in for the Move On Award and then the Skills Award, it, it came on, it, it really leapt, it sort of exploded because it gave us focus, um, much more focus on what we were trying to achieve and we, we just seemed to explode from there and now we've, we've come on leaps and bounds, we've climbed every little fell, every little hill, there's always another mountain to climb behind it and I've no doubt we'll have a, another mountain to climb after, after we've got this award. So my role within the organisation is to look at embedding skills for life thinking with, uh, within our staff teams. Um, to do that I took on um, the opportunity really to attend Skills for Life training so I could lead by example when I was working with our staff members. Um, from there I've passed the numeracy and the literacy um, level twos and I've found that's been really useful um, when I've been um, embracing learners needs and encouraging them really to take part in learning. Okay. Skills for Life gave me the opportunity to go back into learning which because I failed maths at school, I went on to progress to do level one maths, which gives us the confidence to go on to do level two maths, which helps me now with my children with their own work, and it gives us more confidence in my job. So I'm a union learning rep with Unison, and I'm very passionate about what, what we can do together with uh, our management teams and with our work colleagues, because they're the ones who we really want to help. They come to me and say, please can I have a course in computing? And I say, I shall look into that with Cumbria Adult Education. And very largely, we can put the whole thing together. I'm often asked what difference uh, the role of Union Learning Rep can make to an organisation. And I can, I can quite firmly and clearly answer that it gives people a belief in themselves to continue in education. Uh, in the care sector, for example, we've had a, um, a duty to have at least 50% of our staff on NVQ one and two. Because of the work that we can do with Cumbria Adult Ed, uh, shoring up this idea, they're not scared to go into the MVQ's uh, uh, qualifications. So it's a struggle with some, but on the other hand, we've got everyone through at our place and it's been a great success. I'm the Operational Development Officer for Cumbria Fire and Rescue Service. I've been in post now for about 18 months and was invited to join the Skills Pledge uh, Steering Group that's been a really useful group because it's provided the opportunity to network with uh, colleagues from across the County Council but also uh, to network with the various union representatives. It's a great group in that uh, it provides the opportunity to network and to also uh, look at ideas of developing people across the service. For the Cumbria Fire and Rescue Service we've run a range of courses which is some included report writing, improving numeracy skills and PC skills. That in turn has provided an excellent opportunity of supporting the introduction of NVQs, the BTEC Technical Certificate and functional skills across the service. I've always been interested in learning. I've done it for probably 25 years since I've left school. I've constantly gone back, learned some new courses. And they've included English and maths, uh, computing. Well, I never really had the confidence to become a union rep. So when the ULR role started to become about, I got interested and I thought yeah, I could do that job. Uh, I felt quite passionate about it as well. The way I help my uh, colleagues in Cumberland Fire Rescue Service is uh, the best way for me is by signposting. And what that means is I've commandeered myself a, a nice blank wall in our recreation room and then any courses that are available um, or any information I want to get across to the, uh, my colleagues, I can stick it up on the wall. Uh, and then they can see what's going on, they can see the course is available, they see who uh, the contacts are, they know what I'm doing and they know it's there, even if they're not interested. Uh, with the Skills Agenda Group, uh, I've learned a lot working on that. Uh, one of the main things is, is, is perseverance, because some of them have been working on this for quite a few years and they've uh, kept going and they're, they're getting where we are today and we're getting uh, some good work going on throughout Cumbria County Council in terms of learning. 
And since completing the report writing course, I found it helped me write more concise and more professional case notes. Um, this helps us provide a better service to the community and it also helps provide good information for our partner agencies and the interagency working that we do. I decided to brush up on my skills to help me in my role as a Fire Brigades Union Health and Safety Rep. I attended the report writing course and I achieved a certificate in literacy. Since then, the course has helped me to submit reports to the Brigade's Health and Safety Committee meeting. This has helped to influence and improve health and safety within the fire service for all employees and all service users. The Skills Award gave me the opportunity to go on secondment as a Project Development Officer to Cumbria Adult Education. My role was to develop partnerships both with, within the County Council, across directorates and also externally. I also was involved in mapping um, Skills for Life activity across the directorates um, and this enabled us to develop a plan um, for the action, an action plan for the Skills Award and for the Go Award. This has been a great opportunity for me to develop my skills and to further my career. Um, I've now taken on a new role within Cumbria Adult Education as the Lead Tutor for Business Admin, Team Leading and Management MVQs. Achieving the Skills Award is the culmination of a learning journey lasting some six years. During that time, the partnerships formed have been key to securing our success. I was delighted to see that in the assessment report, partnership engagement and learner engagement are identified as key strengths. I lead the Skills Implementation Group and I can say that it's been a real pleasure to lead that group because of the shared values and beliefs of the members. We all believe that skills can make a real difference to both employers, employees, learners and the wider community. I started as an apprentice and then I got taken on full time as an administrator. During that time I gained several qualifications which now I do look after people who want to get back into continuous learning. Right, the, the council has two roles in essence. One is to deliver excellent public services to our local communities and the second is actually to act as a major employer in our local communities. If we unpack that in terms of what it means for the workforce, number one it means that we're supporting our staff and developing them with the skills that they need to deliver excellent public services um, and that's in the context of rising public expectation quite rightly but secondly in a time of uh, financial constraints, our budget base is shrinking, so there's particular challenges there. Uh, the second thing is the uh, council plan um, approved by uh, elected councillors um, outlines our ambitions for the people of Cumbria based on customer consultation, so that reflects what the public want. The workforce plan supports that in two key ways. One is by saying, well, we can hire people into our workforce that live and work in the communities that they serve, so our, our own workforce better reflect the makeup of the local community. And the second way is by working with our partners, we can work together on workforce schemes which bring people into employment who otherwise might not have employment, and that enables us to deliver better services and a succession plan for the future. I've been on a learning journey as well. I've learned about partner organisations, their roles and how they can contribute. I've also learned by working with organisational development and Nita Porcello about the strategic workforce priorities of the council and how these can be best met. All I can say is a role on the next six years. <laughs>